scroll down your Facebook feed and it is clear, people are fired up about politics. And yet when Boston elects a mayor tomorrow, the Secretary of State predicts that 75 to 80 percent of voters will stay home. In our final minute tonight, I hit the streets and ask, why so apathetic? Signs, signs, everywhere signs of apathy. Do you know when the election is? No, I don't. I know a uh, Flaherty, though, is, is somebody. Flaherty. Are you saying because there's a sign that says Flaherty behind the camera? The election tomorrow. You know who's running for mayor? Marty Walsh. Pits the incumbent against a popular city councilor. Tito? Uh, yes. Yes, because a friend of mine is Tito. A yeah. <sighs> Jackson? Sin! <laughs> Between Walsh and Tito Jackson. Peter Eckel is leaning toward Tito Jackson and blames the media and the polls for low turnout. It's a reinforcing mechanism. If you hear that it's not going to be a close race, then people don't show up. One voter told us he's more focused on the national politics. True for many voters, says our John Keller. The bottom line is the mayor probably has more to do with how your neighborhood runs and how you live your life and how your schools operate uh, than the president or the governor or the senator. And by the way, it's not just Boston. Other major cities are seeing the same thing, about 20 to 25 percent of voters actually turning out in mayoral elections. And when the economy's good and you have an yeah. incumbent, a lot of people don't actually take interest. Right.